so much to Mattel for sending me this for free to share with all of you. So I just recently did a video showing off some of the newest and hottest things from Barbie this year for the holiday season. And this is one of my favorite items from the box. So I want to go in depth and open it up with all of you. And it is a Barbie camping. She says here it's let's go camping tent. And <laughs> that's the name of the place that if you're looking it up online and it comes with two dolls, tons of accessories and a tent. And I've never had a Barbie tent. I've had Barbie swimming pools, Barbie play sets of all different sorts of things, but I've never, I've not had a Barbie tent. This is new for me. On the back, here's the box. Here's it displayed. Look how cute it is. Like I, I really think this is just so adorable. I love this. And I'm not an outdoorsy person, but I can appreciate a cute Barbie little outdoor moment though. That is for sure. This is adorable and I love everything. <laughs> this is just really, really cute. And it has the measurements on here. What have we got here? 48 centimeters. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, 18 by 10 inches. There you go. <laughs> but some of the pieces are just so cute. It comes with little animals, little Uno cards, little plastic pillows, which I would have to say is a negative for me. Like they're cute, but I would rather them be actual plush pillows. I feel like that just makes more sense. But I noticed with Barbie, they tend for a lot of their places to be plastic for some reason. So a mm, little uh, negative from me, but overall though, the aesthetic is very, very cute. So let's open this up and take a closer look. All right, so I got them out of the box. They're really cute. Like uh, her face is actually really sweet. Uh, I know I've seen this mold before and everything, but something about it makes it look really cute. I love her little outfit. The pants are a little basic, but I really do like the little sleeping bear on her uh, little semi hoodie long sleeve shirt. And I like that the hood actually goes over her head, which on a lot of fashion dolls, especially the dolls like, you know, OMGs and Rainbow Highs, unfortunately their heads are so large you can't get the hoodie over, but I really do like that she does have the hoodie over her head. She's so cute, I love this. And I love her, but I don't know if I like her outfit so much. It's very pajama-like, which is I think what they were going for, but they kind of don't, I don't know, I would have rather heard more like an outdoorsy outfit to kind of match her, or are they both in pajamas? I don't know, but I really do love Brooklyn here so much. So this is Malibu in Brooklyn. Um, if you haven't seen Big City, Big Dreams, I do recommend it. It's a really cute movie. And I just, you know, they're cute. They're cute, basic play dolls. They feel like fashionista dolls, but at least they come with the play set and you get two. So it kind of, allows you to have more play experience and also just as a collector display purposes to kind of have more dolls in the tent area. Now there is a ton of pieces that came with it. Like this tent is kind of giving me circus vibes, but it's so cute though. It has a little Velcro doorway to it and this pops open. So I'm going to actually clear off a shelf behind me here and set it up on a shelf and have dolls going camping. Some are gonna be in a little glam outfit, but that's okay though. Uh, so I'm gonna build the camp bat behind me, but it does come with some cute little things like the little like chairs and stuff is adorable. This is really, really cute. So it has like little like chairs I'm gonna build that they can put little cups in. Um, is this a telescope? Is it a working telescope? Does it function? No, no, unfortunately the telescope is just a piece of plastic. <laughs> it would be cool if this lit up. I would have liked something. But yeah, there's nothing that lights up. So, I mean, that's, I would have preferred something to light up. I feel like a little light or something because they have these like fake strand of lights, but I feel like I could add my own twinkle lights, like the little battery operated ones and maybe do something like that. Hmm. But it does have little accessories. Like I said, the chairs, some little like pets. And then they do come with, cause I was like, oh, they didn't come with shoes, but they do come with little like sandals. I mean, I guess they're like sleeping in a camp versus going outdoors and camping because I would rather them have like actual boots if they were camping. But I get the concept that they're just supposed to be like, you know, time to hang out and go to a camp, pajama camp party. I don't know. Is that what people do? So let's, <laughs> do people go to a camp party? I don't know. Is that a thing? Uh, so let's build the tent behind me on a shelf and I will show you how the tent looks. Okay, so I put it on the shelf and here are all the little pieces. So it does come with a little bunny, a little squirrel, which when you push the tails of the two animals, their hands move and the little like <laughs> nut with the squirrel moves. It's so cute. Has a little lamp, but it doesn't light up. Again, that's probably my biggest complaint that nothing lights up on this playset. And it does come with a little fire and some marshmallows. I love the little Uno cards it comes with. And I do really like the chairs. Now the rug or the blanket is just a thin piece of material. I would have liked it to have been a little thicker, a little bit more 
something it's just like the pills i'm kind of like eh, it's basic now the water bottles do fit in the water cup holders and like i said the telescope doesn't do anything <laughs> so i did take these strands of lights as you can see i added let me move over here these little lights now i just got this i think i got it from michael's it might have been from the dollar store and it just had like a battery pack and then i strung the lights like around the tent but it looks really cute <laughs> that does work um obviously it was like something you have to buy or invest but i feel like it's inexpensive so if the non-lighting function of this is bothering you as much as it's bothering me at least it's an easy fix to do that and then if we go inside of the tent we have the two dolls now it only comes with this one little blanket so you're probably gonna have to put something in there like a little thick like pillow or something to kind of give it more depth because i feel like it is i don't know you open the tent there's nothing in there <laughs> i guess the blanket should have been in there but then i'm like oh but i want them to have a blanket out here so i don't know i'm kind of torn on it i don't hate it i just feel like for the original price point on this i think it was like 55 dollars. i know it's on sale now because like you know black friday sales and holidays and everything so i think you can find it for like 30 to 40 dollars. but for the original price point a little high <laughs> would have liked it to at least light up but for a 30 dollar price point eh, and you get two dolls i think it's definitely worth it in that sense so definitely shop around like i said i did see it on amazon and my favorite pieces are definitely here let me grab it to show you the little uno cards are definitely super adorable i mean they're just cardboard but they look really cute and i really like the setup and let me show you how these work let me see if i can do it with one hand so you push the tail and he eats his little nut that's okay out <laughs> that's really adorable um everything else like i said this doesn't do anything even though i have seen ones where you press the button and the fire moves in other play sets this one does not these are really cute they actually are pretty detailed for what it is but like i said not I feel like a, a kid would definitely enjoy playing with it from a collector standpoint. Obviously, it's a basic playset. It doesn't have all the high-end intricacies of some of the old-school playsets that we've seen in the in the past with Barbie, but it's not the worst thing I've seen. I guess I'll put it that way. It's not the worst playset, but it's also not the best. I really do feel like the material's thin and stuff like that, but I from a kid's perspective i i don't know i think i would really like it <laughs> like just because i love the little pieces and like even down let me show you the chips here like it even has like trail mix with little pictures of like seeds and nuts on it and i, I feel like a kid would really like that and especially the little animals are adorable which barbie always has to have a million pets in every playset. i feel like that's just like something always barbie now it's like oh is it a barbie playset? gotta have the pets gotta have a million pets always <laughs> and like i said the lights with the lights on there it makes me like the set more so hmm, those are just opinions <laughs> let me know in the comments <laughs> what do you think should i leave it there i think i might leave it there i like it with the little twinkle it's like brooklyn and malibu are watching me down there so that was the camping play set i mean or the let's go camping place. Let me make sure I say it right. Like I, it's cute. Like I said, it gives me a lot of nostalgic feels. It gives me a lot of the vibes of what I had when I had other place that's growing up. Uh, I mean, obviously things always change over time. And obviously we do lose some of the intricacy that we've had over the past, you know, 60 plus years of Barbie. But I think it's a lot of fun. I don't know. I, I definitely, from a collector's aspect, I like some of the pieces, but I think from a kid's vision, like they'll just see it and they'll just want to play with it. And I think that's the biggest thing about Barbie is that especially with these kind of lines, they're made to be play with. So until next time, make sure to check out more things from me in the description below. Definitely let me know what you think about the Let's Go Camping playset. And thank you so much to Mattel for sending me this playset for free to share with all of you. And I want to know, like, what was your favorite Barbie playset? Mine was definitely the post office. I definitely did enjoy that one a lot. I liked some of the, the glampers from the 80s were really cute. Um, the bank one was really cute. But yeah, the post office is my favorite, which now I'm looking it up. It's like hundreds of dollars. Hmm, I should have kept that one in box one day, but I did not. I wanted to display it and then I got rid of it and now I'm regretting it mm, as is life. So until next time, bye everybody. Bye.